Hello everyone. So today um, we are looking at a very nice interview question, which is a very important question. And uh, this question is known as uh, trapping rainwater. All right. Now let's first of all let's see what are the details of this question. So let's read the problem statement. So it is it goes like given an array of size n non-negative integers representing the height of blocks. All right. If width of each block is one, compute how much water can be trapped between the blocks during the rainy season. So what is happening is that water is being collected in like between the blocks after rain and now we have to tell that how many like we are given the height of the blocks and we have to tell the how much water would be stored okay uh, so let's uh, see this the height of the blocks are like this 300204 output would be 10 um, see here Bars would be what? 300204. Total trap water would be what? Here it would be 3. Here it would be 3. Here it would be 1. Here it would be 3. So output would be 10. Similarly, in this case, 7409. Um, let's draw this one 7409, and that would be like tell us in a better way. So this is 7. This is 4, this is 0, and um, yeah, cool. Okay, my bad. Somewhat like this. It is what? 7, 4, 0, 9. Okay. Now, now let's do one thing. Here, yeah, some water would be stored. It should be this part. Here some water is going to be chewed, which is going to be this part. How much water here? It is going to be 3. How much water here? This is going to be um, 7. So output should be 10. Okay. So now, how to solve this question? All right, let's um, look at a few observational things. So what is happening here is suppose for the zeroth block for the like second element, it is zero. Okay. What is the height of the water here? Three. And for this zero block, what is the height of water here? Um, it is also three. All right. For this block, what is the height? 1. And another observational thing that is, you know, like that is to keep kept in mind here is this block and this block won't be storing any um, water in them. Like for this element, first element, uh, second element here, 0, it is storing some, third element is also storing, this element is also storing, this element is also storing. But the first and last elements won't be storing any water because there would be no, for this there would be no right part to contain the water and for this there would be no left part. Okay. So this was one thing. Alright. Now let's look at this example. For this element, what is um, the uh, water, like what is the height of the water stored here? 3 and what is here? is 7 okay an observational thing that you can see here basically is for every element what we are doing is we are going to you know remove the height of the largest part from this side largest part from the left and from the right of that element okay um okay let's do one thing yeah this was the first example. Cool. Let's talk about, let's change the color. Yeah. Let's talk about this zeroth element. It's is starting from this side. This is the element what is stored here. This is what is stored how? Between this element and this, between 
the left most largest element between the right most largest element the water between this element is stored okay and the maximum height that could go would be the minimum of the left most and the right most here it is 3 and here it is 4 so what is stored here would be minimum of the left largest and right largest which is for this element it is 3 for this element it is going to be 3 for this element also the largest would be 3 but the height of this element would be removed okay so it is going to be 1 and for the here also it is going to be 3 so what did we observe here we observed a few things we will i am going to repeat all of them okay first of all the first bar and the last bar won't be storing any water that is like very obvious okay and this uh, block would be um, like storing water okay and that water would be the what minimum of its leftmost part and rightmost part which is here 7 minus height of its own block which is 4 it is going to be 3 and for this block it is going to be 7 minus height of it 7 output would be the addition of these two output is going to be 10 okay now we have like talked about the basic solution like what we do here okay now um um we can do um one thing again okay um, we are we like we have talked about how we are going to you know store the values right um but like how would you find the like left minimum of this or uh, like left max of this element and right max of this element so for that what we are going to do is we are going to make two arrays one array would be left max one array is going to be right max these are the these are going to be two arrays here okay and left max would be containing the left max of all the elements all right okay one more observation which you didn't like under like you haven't like noticed would be like suppose this height would be five so maximum for this element is going to be five and no water would be stored so it's left max or right max is you know it's both are going to be five and minimum would be five and height of this would be five minus five zero and water would be stored so that corner case is also like uh, done here so left max would contain uh, left max for the um, elements first element till nth element and right max is going to be contained uh, by um, so this is going to be second element from nth element and this is going to be first element from n minus 1. Alright. Um, left max here of first would be would be the L max only. I mean the element only. What I mean is for this element its left max is going to be the, it, the number itself. For this element the right max would be the number itself okay so we'll just like put in the values okay so this method is called pre-array where we like construct our an array beforehand before you know entering the procedure and this um, like helps us in the question okay so like this was the crux of the question this question is a little bit tricky so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the code and then uh, like step by step i'm going to tell you everything bit by bit sounds fair okay now we are just going to write the code 
where we have to you know return the result so we'll have a value which we have to return but i tell you we'll make a very we'll make an array of size n left max we'll make an array of size uh, n uh, right max l max 0 would be what r0 yes and um yeah okay yes l max and r max um n minus 1 is going to be having l n minus 1 okay now we'll compute pre array for l max for int i is equal to 1 l max i is going to be either either max of r i or l max of i minus 1 okay and similarly for int i is equal to z uh, i is equal to we are going to have to calculate right max so it is going to be i minus 2 i more than equal to 0 i minus minus r max i is going to be max of r i r max of i plus 1 okay so what i did here is uh, okay we'll have a dry run of this thing so let's have the dry run for this part okay we have this uh, diagram here let's Clear things a little bit. Let's see the eraser. Let's clear this part. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now let's do this. We are writing l max as l m size of n what is size 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 elements l max 0 is array 0 3 l max for this is either max of this element or l max i minus 1 which is 3 all okay l max for this is also going to be 3 l max for this number is going to be either this number 2 or l max of its previous which is 3 okay so um, we are going to have three again here l max is um, again like going to be three and l max for this element is also going to be three and now um, right max for we have to start from the last element right it is like for this element we have four for this 0 is we will have um, 4 for another element we will have 4 for next element we will have 4 for next element also we will uh, have 4 and for the next element also we will have 4 ok so this is our L max array and this is our um, R max array ok now what did I tell you like how to find the result is going to be for every element from i is equal to 1 till i n minus 2 what we are going to do is we are going to have result as result plus um, a minimum of for this element minimum of its left max and right max minus this element okay we are going to write that part now which is which is what um, okay let's write it here 
I tell you we are going to have i is equal to 1 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus what we are going to have is the result is equal to result plus min of l max i r max i minus r i okay sounds right now we'll have just return res okay now let's try and run this program see if it works our output is also 10 and expected output is also 10 let's try and submit this code yeah problem solved successfully okay so let me revisit this question like let me give you a brief of this question again okay so this question goes like this there are bars and there like there is like monsoon season and rain happened and now we have to find the water store inside like this thing so we have to tell the uh, amount of rain which would be stored here okay so for last two elements water won't be stored because this element won't be having a left part which will contain the water and this part is not going to have the right part which will contain the water but for every element in between what the water which is going to store here is the right max of it and the left max of it and the minimum of them minus this element which we did all right and this question is the method of pre-computational arrays which is our l max and r max and yeah that's it for this question go through this question again try to solve it on your own again okay you will understand like what trapping rain water question actually means all right so um yeah that's that was it for this video and see you later